Hi Taurus, I hope you're doing well and this is going to be your June tarot reading. Actually, it's not going to be just tarot, it's going to be astrology as well. And I would like to talk about astrology since we're going to have two important eclipses coming up in June. Uh, that's going to be the first portion of the reading and the second one is going to be tarot. So whichever one you like better or maybe both. Stay tuned, basically. <laughs> now, this astrological portion of the reading, I would advise to watch if you're a Taurus rising, okay? Um, of course, Sun Tauruses can also find something uh, useful out of this. However, this works best for the rising sign, so you should know your ascendant. Um, I have a birth chart calculator on my website, or you can go on astro.com if you don't know your ascendant, but you do need to know your exact birth time. Uh, and the second portion is for... Uh, Sun in Taurus, Venus in Taurus, Moon in Taurus, uh, Rising in ta Taurus, whatever, whatever you would like. Okay, so the first eclipse, the lunar eclipse in uh, the sign of Sagittarius is happening in your eighth house, guys. Let's say that eighth house, the if I could describe it in one word, <laughs> it's a house of transformation and it's a house of crisis. So when lunar eclipse is culmination, right, it's a full moon, but a very big full moon, something is going to culminate in uh, the area of crisis for you. This eclipse could actually be very, very transformational for you, especially if you have uh, Pisces, uh, Pisces ascendant, Pisces moon, uh, around 15, 16 degrees, 14 degrees. Uh, this is going to be a very, very transformational um, time for you. Something is completing finally uh, and something critical, something um, that's been pressuring you, you know, something that has been restricting you uh, could finally complete. However, we are receiving challenging influence from Mars. Mars is going to be pretty aggressive in Pisces. Uh, around that time, around uh, on, July, on June 5th, so this could mean that maybe you're going to experience a little bit of tension at first when these things finally come to completion. What could it be? You know, lunar eclipse uh, can uh, bring some unexpected changes. And uh, when it comes to 8th house and shared resources, finances of other people, uh, partners, finances, everything that you share with someone, this could bring a little bit of tension before it actually comes to the final decision, final completion, right? So, uh, for example, if you are getting divorced, if you're in the process of getting divorced, this could actually play out nicely if you have to split assets or something like that, you know, this could finally be done and over with. Um, now, crisis wise what could it be any kind of uh, life crisis any kind of crisis you know with your health maybe uh spiritual crisis you know when you're trying to figure out what you really believe in what's your belief system uh, what is really important to you in this life this could also finally come to fruition it could start making sense something could start making sense there now you may on a very simple level you know we're not talking about just like spirituality or anything on a very simple level, this could be you finally paying off a loan, uh, you paying off your house, you paying off a car, maybe finally paying off a credit card or something, you know, working on your credit history. Uh, it could be that as well. Also, uh, paperwork, you know, for example, taxes or something like that. Something that, those annoyances, you know, those uh, mandatory things that we have to deal with, this could also finally come to some kind of completion, but with a little bit of tension from Mars. It's not just going to be like butter on bread, you know what I mean? It's still going to cause a little bit of tension there, maybe a little bit of resistance on your end, especially, you know, but it, it will, regardless, something is going to change change uh, permanently. Um, eighth house is a house of death. In some very rare cases, you could maybe witness somebody's death as well, but this is a very extreme case, you know, and of course it's not going to play out for everybody in that exact way. But just to keep in mind, you know, but that's something that you 
know about you know what i mean that's something that you've already known about and worked on and uh, had an idea about because it's a culmination it's not a new beginning so it's not just going to be a completely new situation that comes into your life you're completing the old situation or the old situation is coming to an end for you okay now on uh june 21st you're going to have a new beginning you're going to have a solar eclipse and cancer in your third house now that's very exciting because uh taurus and cancer are very good together and uh, uh, it's a very complementary influence from a water sign to an earth sign so what can happen there in the third house first of all it could be a new car okay because vehicles are ruled by the third house and technology new computer uh be careful though because june uh is also a time for mercury to go retrograde uh so if you do do it try to do it as soon as possible okay not by the end of the month i honestly do not remember when mercury goes uh retrograde but i'll put it on the screen somewhere but it could be a new car, it could be maybe a small piece of property that you might uh, buy, for example. It could be, again, a new computer, a new software for your business, for example. If you've been working on your own business, maybe it could be some, uh, again, new ideas, some kind of uh, insights that you're going to receive that you could apply to your small business. Uh, if you work in sales, that's going to be a really good time, for example, to attract more clients, to attract more connections, uh, to make new connections, acquaintances, to network with other people. Also, it could be a time to study something new, to learn something new, maybe some online courses. So that is a pretty exciting time, guys. And uh, that is a good new moon. That is a good solar eclipse. So uh, you should be able to enjoy it, okay, especially after that tough influence um, in, in the beginning of the month. So that's it for the eclipses and now I'm going to ask Tarot how your month is going to go, what to expect, maybe how um, eclipses are in gonna influence you from the Tarot perspective and things like that. Let's start. So Taurus, what can Taurus expect to happen in June 2020? What can Taurus expect to happen in June 2020? Oh, ooh, interesting. All right, so at the bottom of the deck, we do have Four of Cups. Four of Cups is some kind of an apathetic feeling, you know, feeling of also uh, being really drained by circumstances, by uh, situations that are coming into your life. And you know, Four of Cups is sometimes just uh, boredom, simple boredom. However, you know, I don't really believe that the first eclipse is going to leave us all bored. But at the same time, um, it's Four of Cups, it's more of a neutral energy. You know, it's kind of like feeling apathetic, not really wanting anything, not really liking anything, but also not really disliking or hating anything, you know, you're just kind of there emotionally. Um, there are some interesting things that are going to be happening for you in uh, June. I'm seeing this from the spread already. You've got the Sun card, you've got Death card, you know, you've got two major arcanas here. But Four of Cups could also be feeling a little bit tired, like I just cannot wait, you know, for a new cycle or I cannot wait to finish this project. I cannot wait uh, to, I don't know, see this person, you know, or to get off the phone with this person. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's those uh, energies here very minor very temporary so you're starting out the month with the sun now the sun is definitely about some kind of epiphanies it is about some kind of a insight you know it's also very positive news coming your way uh, the sun is about clarity light at the end of the tunnel like I like to say so why is the sun here also maybe something connected to children uh, your children for example you know or maybe you're gonna receive some good news and it's definitely yeah it's definitely some kind of uh, incredibly positive information coming your way because they saw one it's about a spark it's about excitement some kind of a new door is opening here a so once is you know when um we receive good news and uh, we just get this 
wave of energy we receive this motivation and um, I don't know ambition especially when it comes down to like career for example uh, or maybe uh, some exciting news that you've been waiting for ace of wands is definitely that now for those that are interested in love for those that are interested in uh, some kind of romantic connections here this could also be a new spark a new love interest ace of wands is that star you know uh, that's hard to n not notice you know what I mean so this could be, especially in the first maybe two weeks of the month, you are going to either notice someone, someone exciting, someone passionate is going to come into your life, or for example, it could be a new exciting project, new hobby that you could work on, some kind of exciting news about children, or just generally very, very exciting news. And it's something that, again, you almost like fell asleep waiting for, you know what I mean? It's been like long enough, like give me that good news. Here it is. Now, towards the middle of the month, we do have death card, and again, death, you know, this is Scorpio house, this is uh, eighth house, and uh, in the traditional uh, astrology, but not in traditional astrology, in the, in the actual zodiac, but for you, Sagittarius Eclipse is happening in the 8th house, right? Some kind of transformation there. Death is a card of transformation. So guys, for you it is a very um, important, it's a very significant month for your inner transformation, for your uh, maybe spiritual transformation again. And again, if there is something there that maybe you have to finally complete, it is going to complete, okay? Death is an indicator here that something is finally coming to fruition. So why is death here? The matters of the eighth house or those crises uh, situations in your life because again eighth house is crisis and you're fighting for something new here five of wands nine of wands and ace of cups after a death ace of cups comes that's interesting because if you know if you are completing a relationship with someone if you are just done and over with and for example last thing you need to do is like split some kind of uh, uh, you know assets or something shared you know for example if you're going through divorce ace of cups here is opening a door to new love to a new partnership to new emotions for someone and with nine of wands and five of wands even though maybe this could be a battle for a very long time to either finally uh, experience those positive feelings you know because you've been so burdened by something else or maybe it was just a very long-lasting bottle bottle <laughs> battle for something that uh, you want, something that you deserved, that, you know, it was a very draining process here, but you are not giving up. Um, it almost seems like these eclipses are going to bring some kind of a new life to you in a way, you know, new, not life, what do you call it? Like an more energy into you i guess i don't know what's up with my english today you know it's just a new wave of energy uh new wave of life kind of where you're like i'm just ready for whatever life throws at me uh, you know what i mean but also be very careful by the end of the month even though again you know that uh, solar eclipse should be uh, relatively positive, okay, but still be very careful by the end of the month not to splurge too much Not to purchase something that you're going to regret even though Venus will be going direct on 25th But Mercury is going to go retrograde Please avoid big purchases because with five of Pentacles there is a tendency to overspend, okay? Also don't overwork yourself please in the beginning or in the middle of both actually throughout the whole month of June here because there is a lot of action here there is a lot of ambition and fire in you that you can feel drained because remember we also had four of cups at the bottom of the deck and that could be doing so much to the point where you kind of empty your energy out completely so try to avoid that try to avoid emotional burnout physical burnout any kind of burnout because and financial okay because by the end of the month you could feel kind of empty so why is five of pentacles here and will this energy improve yes it will uh improve by the very very end of the month but here we have six of pentacles three of 
cups and six of cups you know a good way to heal yourself could be going back to the places that you've been before for example your hometown uh your um, I don't know home state you know what I mean maybe seeing people that you love maybe spending time with your children here with six of cups it could be very healing it could be very very helpful to you but also again I think this five of pentacles could be more financial so even if uh, the eclipses trigger you in a way where they will want your resources they will want your finances for something be responsible okay because yes this might cost you some money but at the same time you are going to celebrate in the end and your vitality and your strength and your emotions they're all going to go back into uh, their normal state you know what I mean but just avoid uh, getting drained okay whether it's physically financially or spiritually but overall a very transformative month guys very big month for you and for me I'm a Taurus Sun and I hope you guys enjoyed this reading and I'll see you in my next video bye bye